let me go through a niche selection, industry selection process where I have to second guess my skills and go through this whole big ass form of who my dream client is, the avatar worksheet, their pains and the problems, all that. They've, they've learned that they really only need a little bit of information to make a decision, which is what do I get? Who do I get it from? And how much do I pay to get it? And the ad, by the way, answers two out of those three. So the only thing we're doing is who are you? And I go, yeah, my name is Jeff. I'm down in Miami, blah, blah, blah. Doing this for a while. Yeah, actually, while you're talking to making the ad, what's your price point again? Here's what we'd run for you. Here's the questions we would ask. And what's the best number for a live transfer? All right, we're onboarded. You just got to pay your invoice. And the guy's like, what? And I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool, right? And they go, you don't have to talk to my staff or train them. No, they can pick up yeah. the phone. Or these, some people have these that's onboarding it. funnels that have like 8,000 fucking questions that you get like... They want to know, like, where do you want to be in 17 years from now? Like, in, yeah. in half the time, they're not even going to be still working together in three months. I wanted to ask yeah. you about that because I know one of the important pieces for actually dialing that process, and at least it was for us, I'm assuming the same for you, is having, like, real clarity about who your shit works best for and who it doesn't, and yeah. then not trying to bullshit that in the ad. Um, yeah. I, I would just love to hear a little bit of your thoughts on how you kind of came to those conclusions on your own because now you're not trying to have this big funnel that speaks to everybody like for me correct there's a huge difference between having just any lawyer on my list and the guy who spends a million dollars a month on tv those are like totally different fucking leads and i'd rather yeah. have six of the tv guys than eight gazillion of the solos right yo morgan and morgan holy crap that company like they are spending so much Dude. like every time i travel it's everywhere it's he's, so he's on another there. level but i know i know just it's from crazy. a fact because i'm in that they they spend 25 million just on TV alone. And then uh, if you if you guys have never been to Florida, by the way, like literally Morgan and Morgan's, they're on every fucking billboard. They're on every, if you turn on the TV, they're there. If they're on the radio, they're there. Yep. If you do look at a bus stop, they're there. They got ads on the side of taxis. Like you literally cannot fucking escape Morgan and Morgan. If you turn yep. on social media and stuff, yeah. they're probably going to be advertising you there. Like they are not shy about doing that. They're the largest personal injury firm in the country. And if you're in Florida, yep. they're pretty much impossible to miss. Yeah. Big yellow font. <laughs> um, all right. So here's, here's two answers. The first is let me go through a niche selection, industry selection process where I have to second guess my skills and go through this whole big ass form of who my dream client is, the avatar worksheet, their pains and the problems, all that. Like that type of stuff is an option, but I didn't go into dentistry because of my answers on that sheet. I didn't start doing all on four ads because of the answers on the sheet. I don't know the difference between a C-Rec machine and a 3D ultrasound x-ray machine. I don't know the difference. Like, I, I don't know the difference between the Strawman implants and then the MSI. Impl I, don't, I don't fucking know. And if you look at like my client avatar sheet, it's nothing at all like this over here. The way I got into dentistry is I simply ran an ad that said, hey, dentists, do you want more blank? That was it. That's, hey, do you want more blank? Price is starting at this. And I probably ran three or four different types of ads based upon their three or four different types of products. So every industry as a whole breaks down to five, maybe six major products. Yeah. So you have like uh, carpets, have like residential, commercial, industrial. Yeah. Dentists I just have... say on that point, I, I've, I've, we've talked about that before, but I call that the $100 bill. And when you hit this right, it's a very downhill thing. Like I, I've noticed for you guys, it's at least part part of what you're doing is implants. And they obviously, a yep. dentist values an implant person far more than just like, you know, get somebody in for the $29 teeth whitening kind of yep. deal. Yeah. And so all I did was I just ran those ads and one of them worked. And I was like, all right, that's it. So I, I could have, and I still suggest, and I did do the call everybody. What do you want from your marketing type of thing? I had those conversations. They all said implants. Um, you could deep dive into a research and go Google keywords and do some analysis and go Michael Porter's five forces if you want, which I did. But looking back that 80-20 was me saying, okay, from an online advertising company, I should probably advertise online to get online advertising clients. What am I advertising? I have no clue. And the status at the time was have like a cool creative with amazing copy. And then you have a VSL or a landing page. And I was like, I'm not going to do any of that. I'm, I'm not even going to write copy because every time I write copy, somebody argues about the your, Y-O-U-R versus right. apostrophe R. It's like, I'm not going to get it right. So, the spelling police uh, really do come out on fucking Yeah, it's like, like, I know it's wrong and I don't care. So tough titties. So I just, 
I deleted all the copy that I wrote and I just put a fucking like a Publix flyer like, hey, tomatoes, here's what they are for the price. That was it. So my ad literally says like, hey, dentist, get unlimited blank and blank, blank and blank for X price. Not including ad spend results in 14 days. Like a little disclaimer at the bottom. And that was it. And it was bright red with like black font or yellow font or gray font or red font. It was literally me doing the least amount of work possible to yeah. try to get clients. And then it worked. And I was like, that can't be right. There's no way this guy signed up. And then I, I texted him and he's like, yep, yeah, I'm ready. I was like, okay. So I called him. I was like, all right. So, you know, why don't you tell me what's going on over there, wherever you are? And he's like, yeah. So we're based out of Virginia and this is what we're looking for. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Uh, you want implants? You want all enforced? You know, we really want implants. It's like, okay, so walk me through your implant process. And he goes, well, they come in and then they blank. And we put it on the machine. And I was like, what type of machine is that? He's like, that one. I was like, ah, yeah, that's, the, that's the good one. That's the expensive one. He's like, yeah, that's super expensive. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Right. right? And, but it's fine because I'm not trying to be an expert. I'm just trying to be a good ads person. So he goes, all right, so what do you do? I said, well, this is what we do. We run the ad and it looks like this. And we only target the top 25% incomes. And then they go into our CRM so your staff doesn't have to back and forth. We do the filtering and do a live transfer. And he goes, how do you do live transfers? I said, well, our CRM, the way we do it is like we put them on hold for 30 seconds, call you. So we've got a live one, connect the call, and then exit and continue recording. He goes, oh, that's cool. I go, yeah. Um, and every time we do one, we'll send you a receipt. That's what we call them. So you know that you got what you paid for. And, you know, one out of 10 is good, but the rest are trash. And you don't know until you pick up the phone. He says, okay, how much? I go, the price is in the ad. He goes, what was it? I go, 750 Okay. And that was the whole sales process. Yeah. So I didn't have to go through this, like, what do I want to be? What's my niche type of thing? What I had to do was, you know, be a good entrepreneur and spend money on ads and then see if it worked. And if I had run those four or five different ads, so you have like dentistry, you got four or five different sub products, right? If I had done that and nobody said, okay, I'm interested, I would have gone back to my research and had an existential crisis of like, am I good enough for all this but i didn't because it worked and if i looking back now i probably just changed industries and just said all right i'm gonna do carpet cleaning hey carpet cleaners do you want more residential long-term contracts starting here blah 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 uh commercial deals industrial that's it 